So, since the start of 2021, quite a few things have changed. I've uploaded a lot more videos on YouTube, I released four new original songs, I started a business, and I built up great partnerships with others in my industry. All of this took place in this room, sitting at this desk. In the past, I've always wondered why I click on almost every productive desk setup and studio workspace video. Yes, I was looking for cool ideas to improve my workspace, but it was more than that. The truth is, having a desk setup and workspace that's designed to bring out the best in you is game changing. And even though it might cost a lot of money, it's worth every penny. It's never too soon or too late to change a few things. And since it's a new year, it's the perfect time to do just that. My name is Edward Smith, and this is my studio update for 2022. So, to get things started, the first big improvement I wanted to make in 2022 was getting quality acoustic treatment. Since I make music and record YouTube videos for a living, sound quality and room acoustics is super important. You can have the best microphone and studio monitors in the world, but without good acoustic treatment, recordings will never sound as good as they could. In the past, I used blankets to help absorb sound, and even though it worked well, it didn't look good at all. Not to mention the amount of space it took up. To improve this part of my setup, I decided to invest in studio acoustic panels, and even though things got a bit pricey, the results were worth every penny. With the added acoustic cloud, my room has never sounded better. Another big change I wanted to implement in 2022 was having my space look and feel more functional. Sitting at a neat desk space is already a big step in the right direction, but making your entire room feel that way is an even bigger challenge. To get the process started, I first had to declutter, laying out items I use every week and others I don't use as often. To use areas of my room more effectively, I redesigned my studio layout, zoning out my video shooting area, finding functional spaces to store all my gear. Microphone and camera stands stack perfectly in the corner of any room, but other gear need a bit more to be neat and functional. Using budget metal shelves and a chest of drawers helped me keep my equipment organized, making everything I use visible and easy to access. Now we move on to the center of my studio space, my desk setup. To be honest, not much of the gear has changed. I still use a Dell 34-inch curved monitor, hovering between my Yamaha HS8 Studio speakers. I still use the same Logitech keyboard and mouse, desk and ergonomic chair. But one big thing that has changed is my computer. I used to use a Dell XPS 9570 for music production and video editing, but since the release of the new M1 Pro MacBooks, I just couldn't resist. Yeah, I'm an Apple guy now. Everything else around my desk is also a little bit more minimalistic looking. My screen monitor is on an arm stand now, my audio interface is smaller, my MIDI keyboard is more basic, and these Bear Dynamic headphones, they were also just another pricey upgrade I couldn't resist. Since the goal for 2022 is being more organized, cable management is and always will be top priority. And to keep things simple, I got myself a cable management kit on Amazon that really gives you everything you could ever need to do the job. Combined with my already set up raceways, my cable management definitely improved. Moving on to my shooting space, a big visual upgrade I made was the addition of a new countertop, placed on an already set up desk. This really refreshed things, especially for my YouTube videos and thumbnails. 
I also upgraded my camera and camera stand to help improve my content. The Edison Lite, wall-mounted guitar and artificial plants definitely added warmth and color to my room, but I felt like we needed even more for 2022. So I decided to invite Alexa into my studio. Okay. To give the Edison Lite a cozier feel, I placed a five foot artificial plant next to it. And to top it all off, I switched my neon LED peace sign with a custom design of my very own logo. The remote function makes it even better and maybe a little distracting. So, as I said, Studio setups and desk workspace videos inspire me. And even though I end up buying way too many things I don't actually need, my space is important to me. I want to be excited for work every morning. I want to be in a clean, creative space that helps me do my best, growing and learning every single day. It might sound a bit dramatic, but my studio workspace changed everything for me. And trust me, the same can happen for you.